Best mac and cheese. Yeah, it is. Best mac and cheese. The flavor in this one, we need to find out. What's the flavor? Kaju. 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 I didn't even know it was something I want to capture to be honest. I thought I'll just come in, pop, pop in, do what I had to do, and go. So I was contacted via LinkedIn. So I deleted all my stuff from LinkedIn and just put like content creation stuff. So I was contacted by this agency that they deal with like digital creatives. And yeah, signed up, blah, blah, blah. Yesterday they just said, okay, they had something to do for 10, if I could make it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I can actually. So I came. So it was basically. It was called Vogue Club, something like that. And it was something AI, facial expression, gesticulation, some kind of simple kind of acting situation. So the time I spent like just doing what I was doing was about one hour, 30 minutes. Obviously, with breaks involved. But like it took, I came here at 10. Now it's 1. 11, 12, 1. So that's three hours. So three hours and then had breakfast, had lunch as well. I already grabbed the sandwich and I was coming because I wasn't sure what well, I would meet here. But yeah, everything was sharp. Okay nice and then i'll get paid in 14 days which is good because a lot of times you get paid in 30 days for five days but this one 14 days you get paid and it wasn't even like i wouldn't say it was that tasking <laughs> because i was reading from teleprompter for what they wanted just a few times they had to do improve with and it was more facial stuff yeah yeah so i tried to make a clip shot when i realized okay this could be content worthy i made little clips of the makeup space, the place where I filmed, like with 120 cameras or whatever. But the other green screen, I couldn't, I forgot to take my camera in there. So that was basically it. After having lunch, I grabbed a cup of coffee and I'm walking back home. So this area is, what's it called? Walk, walking, walking, yeah. I'm just walking out to working station. Yeah, that's it. I'm supposed to see my friend Chica sometime this weekend. We're not sure yet, but I really want to go to this place. This um, happened kitchen trap or trap kitchen but i really want to try to some house because they have like nice mac and cheese you know chicken and everything so if i go there this weekend shall i pick up the camera again if anything happens again i pick up the camera now i'm just gonna enjoy music and relax for the next one out 30 minutes before i get home the next day another day and i just got this from them so i tried someone's discount code diana on youtube and they told me to put, I don't know, I put details, find it, they telling me to put more money, put, I just stopped it, cancelled everything, only for them to say one box was already packed, blah, blah, blah. So, we are going to try HelloFresh at some point today, I guess, and yeah, so, um, I don't know, I'm just going to introduce you to the box, and we'll probably unbox it when I'm done with my, um, work. Broken, it's the feeling that you get when you burn out in L.A. Trying to chase a dream, but you're bleeding for a cheap minimum wage. Yeah, I'm sinking in my chest, but I tell my friends I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm. Not the type, the type to cry, you'd rather hide. Instead of By the way, the salmon smells so good. Like, I wish I could just stop and just be eating the salmon and just end this whole matter. But, you know, we have to keep going because. I want to make three people's meal today. I won't lie to you tonight, I'm numb inside. Mm -hmm. oh, wanna give it up, sick of living what I can't cut. Good 
morning darling so it's another day let's quickly do a verdict for the hello fresh so i wouldn't talk about price because as i mentioned if you if i did i got a 60 percent or even with the 60 percent i still paid something about almost 30 pounds you get so i'm just wondering what the price would have been if i didn't do your math anywho so let's not talk about pricing the options and stuff are amazing because obviously you have healthier meals i think and variety compared to like the normal nigerian um you know selection of meals in the world but the palette of my family guys i don't know i don't know to be honest obviously those meals you have to cook immediately and eat immediately to enjoy it to the best but then again it's not everyone that really likes serere with their meals so the frozen stuff like the salmon the prawns the beef stuff like that i kept so that I could use it for pasta, rice, and other stuff. But to be following that menu, and the portions are even really tiny, like three people. And I was even thinking they made it for four people, you know. But the rice, everything was just so tiny. Like anyway, I think dinner is supposed to be light, yeah. But yeah. So uh, any day, any time, I think I'll pick a Nigerian food box over HelloFresh. Probably there are other food boxes that'll be nicer, or better, and stuff. But yeah, so that's my verdict on that. I'll give it a four over ten. And their customer service is so annoying because they know how to drag money. Just mistakenly register for something. Before you know, they start taking money for <laughs> some random things. You now be complaining up and down. So yeah, that aside. But then again, someone now even messaged me on threads and sent me an invite to get like three free boxes. So I think when you have an account, you can literally maybe after you ordered for a beat, you now have the opportunity to refer a friend and offer them free boxes. Because she's like, if I have free boxes, I should send to her as well. But I've already closed my account, so I need to go and tell her that I'll come there. I'm not even doing it again. No. So that's another peck of each other, in case you're interested in Hello Fresh in your life. So, yeah, right now I'm off to post stuff um, and uh, meet up with my friend Sonia. She's here from Canada with her son. I think she has two other friends coming along. And I'm going to take them to Trap Kitchen. I've never been, oh, but somewhere that has been on my list to go. So, today we're going to go Trap Kitchen. Before I go to meet up with Sonia, where we're supposed to meet, I think I might stop at Zara. So there's this jumpsuit I saw. I want to buy it too. I don't know what now stopped me. Only for me to now go back to buy it. I'm sorry, I put it in my basket and just forgot. Let me to now go back there. Something is sold out in the size I want. So I'll check again if it's still not available once, I, once I'm done with posting. And then if it's not, I've already checked for the store that has it. My favorite Thai Street Kensington store. Now that she can decide if she wants yeah, to add exactly something what's on it. Like, yeah. uh, Cajun chicken pies, mac and cheese, and then I have another mixed bucket with mac and cheese Oreo waffle, and then I have an extra portion of mac and cheese. On the mix. Hey, our fiance, Sonia. Hello. 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 Okay, cool. So we're about to have trap chicken. I told him. 
et French. Maintenant, il faut payer. Parce que j'ai ouvert la bouteille d'eau. Oui, oui. 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 Were they separately? Yeah, yeah, it was separate. It was, it was uh, unfortunate. Well, the chicken was, like, was fried. Right. But every other thing was okay. Overall, like you said, service is 10 from Emmanuel. Mm. I love the practice my French. Mm. The food overall, I'll give it like an 8. Eight. Uh -huh. Strong 8 or weak 8? Strong 8, I'll give it a strong 8. Even the chicken, like you said, but uh, me, I'm not picky. But okay. the, the ones that were great were really great. Really great. So you just so, tell. Service. Like the other ladies mentioned, 10 for Emmanuel. Mm. Food-wise, I would say 8.5 to 9. Okay. Reason, reason why I'm not putting it 10 is because it was a struggle to eat the crab legs. The crab legs. Oh, no. But that's because she just didn't have to. She had to give her lesson. Yeah, Jamie had to give us like half to back. She should give it a little bit. She should give it a little bit. So That's why I said it didn't be a yeah. 10, but apart from that, the mac and cheese was good. Yeah. The dessert was really good as well. They didn't have chicken. No, we didn't have chicken. We had the lobster tail. And it was good. Lobster tail. Lobster tail. Yeah, we had the lobster tail. Mmm. Chef's kiss. Perfect. Yeah. Yay. The service. Best with the food. Yeah, the service. The food was perfect guys, so as this all said, mac and cheese was 100, Emmanuel 100, he was amazing, very nice guy. I made a little clip of, of him, for him, but he took pictures of us. And yeah, you should definitely come to trap. When you come here, make sure you don't have... Okay, you can have the crab, because to be honest, our crabs are better than the chicken wings. I didn't taste it, but for what you it was dry. But the lobster, the mac and cheese, the vibe on point. Yeah, that's the end of this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends, your family, and your enemies. My outfit is by Miss E Divine. She's a Nigerian designer based in the UK. Yeah, so I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Bye! Body man, nobody like dog, but you must hustle if you want to. If no finish, they won't fight us.